Hello there, my name is Musa the Giant from Teben, South Africa. In this video, I would like to show you how to connect your MetaMask wallet to blockchains like the Binance Smart Chain, Phantom, Avalanche, Polygon, and many other blockchains. Connect your MetaMask wallet to uh, different decentralized uh, exchanges like a uniswap like pancake swap and many other decentralized exchanges so that you can be able to do things like trading different assets buy uh, different uh, nfts and all that good stuff so in this video i'm assuming that you have already watched the first video which is this one where i was uh, showing you how to set up your metamask wallet configure it correctly and safely so that you can be able to then do things like uh again connecting it to different platforms like uh binance smart chain and many other blockchains as i have already mentioned all right so without any further ado let's get to the meat and potatoes of this tutorial okay now to connect your metamask wallet to the binance blockchain what you can do is you can do this um either using the hard way or the easy way right let me just show you the hard way first so the hard way is that you need to find this information here you're going to use this information here to connect your metamask wallet to the binance smart chain right so how do you do that once you can find this information i will link it below this video then you need to then go to your metamask wallet and obviously you need to uh, sign in all right so as you might remember in my first video that i told you that by default metamask connects to the ethereum mainnet blockchain so if you click this down arrow here you don't see the other blockchains like binance smart chain phantom avalanche and so on and so forth so you need to do those manually in other words you need to connect your metamask to other blockchains manually so let's connect the binance smart chain uh, blockchain to our metamask wallet all right so how do you do that well it's easy you just click on this button here and then you click settings scroll down click networks click add network now where it says network name you need to name your network in this case we are connecting the binance smart chain so i'm gonna call it binance smart chain all right and then where it says um new rpc url you then copy and paste this address here so i've already copied it and then i'm gonna paste it here the chain id is 56 currency symbol is bnb and then scroll down and the explorer the block explorer url which is optional but i always put it there it's going to be bsc scan.com so make sure that you enter this information correctly all right and then just click the save button so by so doing you would have connected the binance smart chain to your metamask wallet all right so now what is happening is that when you click this down arrow you can now switch between different networks right so right now we are back to the ethereum main main net blockchain but let's just go back to the binance smart chain so that's the first method you can use to connect uh different blockchains to your uh metamask wallet which is a kind of a difficult uh, way of doing things now let me show you the second method you can use which is uh, a little bit easier what you want to do is you want to create a new tab then you want to go to chainlist.org so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be connecting another blockchain we're going to be connecting the phantom blockchain to your metamask using the chainlist method okay so once the page the chain list page uh i mean the chain list page loads correctly what you want to do is you want to first connect it to your metamask okay just just click connect it is now connected 
and then i want to add the phantom blockchain to my metamask i want to connect the phantom blockchain to my metamask so just click in the search networks box and then type phantom and this is the one that you want to add because this one is the test net and this one is the main net so click on add to metamask and then metamask pops up this window and it asks you do you want to allow this site to add a network that's exactly what we want to do but as you can see this time around we do not need to type anything because the network name is already in place the url is in place the chain id if you click on view all details it shows you the currency symbol is there the block explorer for the phantom blockchain is there so everything is there for us all we need to do is to close this and then just click the approve button and then we can even switch to the phantom blockchain so by so doing we have now connected the phantom blockchain um, to our metamask so we have three networks so far that we are familiar with it's the ethereum mainnet the Binance smart chain that we added manually and then we have just added the phantom blockchain to our metamask now let's go ahead and also add avalanche so we come back to the search networks uh, box here we're going to take out phantom because we now want to add avalanche right right so notice that this one is the main net this is the one that we want not the test net you can see it says avalanche fuji this is the test network we want the original or the main net, the main network. So just click the add button to add to MetaMask. We are adding Avalanche main net to our MetaMask. Okay, just as before, MetaMask will ask you if you want to allow this site to be added. Right? So again, this is the, the name of the network. It's the Avalanche main network. This is the network URL this is the chain id if you click the view all details button you'll be able to see even more details like the current symbol for avalanche and the block explorer so let's just click the close button and approve and then we can even switch to the network just to make sure that it is there right so when we go to our metamask wallet you would notice now that we have the avalanche main, net, main network connected to our metamask if you click this down arrow here this is avalanche this is um ethereum main network this is opera main net, i mean phantom um, main network this is the binance smart chain main network right so now we have connected a couple of uh, different blockchains to our metamask so the next step now is for us to be able to then trade different tokens uh, that are listed or that that are built on these different these different uh, blockchains like uh, ethereum avalanche phantom binance and so on and so forth now in order for us to be able to do that we need to switch to the correct network first let's just say i want to trade a token or i want to stake a token that is listed or that is built on top of the binance smart chain blockchain so what do i need to do first first i log in into my metamask wallet second i go to this down arrow and then select the binance smart chain because i would have known that the token that i want to either trade i want to stake or unstake is built on top of the what of the binance smart chain or of the binance blockchain all right so now we can even close this we don't need this anymore what we're gonna need to do let's just go to the to this site here coingecko.com all right so now here on coingecko what i would like us to do is to search for the pancake token so in the search box just tap cake and then click on pancake okay now let us just assume that you know exactly what pancake swap is you know about the system you know about the token you've done your due diligence um and um now you want to buy some pancake swap all right and then if you take a look at here where it says contract you can see that uh, pancake swap 
is built on top of the binance smart chain all right so now it means that in order for us to be able to trade the pancake swap token and stake it we need to first connect the what the binance smart chain blockchain to our metamask of which we have done and we have even switched to it now how do we go about buying trading and staking pancake swap on our metamask right so the first thing that we want to do is to check to see where can we buy pancake for example we already know that we can use our uh, metamask but let's just go to markets by the way you can see that pancake swap is in the binance smart chain ecosystem so if you want to see all the tokens that are built on top of the binance smart chain blockchain just click on here but in this case let's just see where can we buy pancake swap right so as you can see here now remember we clicked on the market tab so as you can see here we can buy cake using the what using bnb or wrapped bnb so if we click on here what is going to happen is that the pancake exchange is going to be opened because pancake is a decentralized exchange that is built on top of the binance smart chain all right now as you can see pancake swap reminds us that in order for us to be able to trade pancake swap we need to first connect the pancake swap exchange to our metamask so it automatically pops up this window here and then we just need to connect our metamask with our what with our with the pancake swap exchange so just click next and then click on connect we are now connecting what we are connecting the pancake swap decentralized exchange with our metamask so that they can communicate in order for us to be able to what to trade pancake swap all right in this case so it's still loading the balance for a bnb now we need to select cake because that's what we want to trade so i'm gonna click on there and then click on cake right but now sometimes it happens that when you type the name of the token here it doesn't show here what you can do is if that is the case if it doesn't show as you can see it says search name or paste address here what you can do is you can just x out of this then go back to uh, coin gecko and then click the contract address copy the contract address of the token that you want to trade in this case on the pancake blockchain and then come back here and then click on this down arrow and then paste the contract address of that particular token in this case it is cake right so um i will just then you just click on the name of the token that you want to add here right so in our case we'll be able to set it by its name so all we can do is just to click on it and then now you you will hear a very nice sound that uh, that happens when you do that all right so now this window here it shows us that we want to trade uh we want to buy some cake with some bnb you always need to have some bnb in your metamask wallet in order for you to be able to cover some small transaction fees and also to buy other cryptocurrencies but as you can see here we have zero bnb which means that if we say we want to buy 10 pancake swap tokens we cannot be able to do that because it says insufficient balance right so how do we go about funding the our metamask wallet so that we can be able to what to trade other cryptocurrencies in this case to buy cake and then stake cake right so okay, in my next video i will show you exactly how to do that how to fund your metamask wallet in this case we're going to be funding it with different cryptocurrencies but we're going to start funding it with bnb because we want to buy a token that is built on top of the what of the binance smart chain or the binance block chain all right okay so i didn't want this video to be this long i'm sorry about that but at the same time i wanted to show you as much as i possibly could 
but the aim was just to show you how to connect your MetaMask wallet to different blockchains such as your Binance uh, Smart Chain, Phantom, Avalanche, Polygon and many other decentralized applications and exchanges. So I think we have accomplished that. So in my next video, I will show you how to fund your MetaMask wallet so that you can be able to then uh, trade different tokens, uh, stake different tokens, buy NFTs, and all that good stuff so thank you so much for your time make sure that you subscribe to my youtube channel because i have many other tutorial videos that i'm recording you do not want to miss them and i will talk to you soon my name is musa the giant from Deben, south africa let's get this crypto bye for now